Here we have two Numeria machines. Numeria was a brand name of Lago Marcino, which is an Italian company based in Milan. Lago Marcino was founded in 1896 by Enrico Lago Marcino, and it was an office supply company. They imported lots of different calculators and eventually they wanted to uh, make calculators themselves because that would be a bit more profitable than importing them and reselling them. In around 1935 they bought a company called PSIC Primo Stabilimento Italiano Calcolatrici and that means first Italian calculator works and they made a machine that looked very much like the uh, Monroe. What you see here is a Monroe Model K. What they made in 1932 till 1935 was a machine that looked more like the older models of Monroe with flat sides and top. So very angular rather than the rounded corners of the Model K. The Model K was from the 1920s and yeah, so PSIC made uh, a machine that was functionally very much the same as this, but it looked an even older one. In the 1930s, Monroe was now making machines that looked much more modern like this. So when Lago Marcino bought PSIC, yeah, they had to uh, redesign the machine. So they bought them in 1935 and it took till 1940 until they had a nice modern looking machine, something like these. Although these are a bit later from the 50s and 60s. Um, in a previous video I showed you how to use the Monroe machines and these Numeria machines are absolutely identical in how to use them. You know, you just uh, type in numbers and turn the crank to add, turn clockwise, and to subtract, turn anti-clockwise, and so on. So I won't go into that any further, except to say that these machines have exactly the same uh, buttons and everything as uh, the Monroe. The only minor difference is that uh, the uh, repeat and non-repeat buttons are replaced by a switch. And that's about it really, that's about the only difference between the machines on the outside. Apart from sort of, uh, yeah, minor uh, cosmetic differences. On the inside however, there is a difference. Uh, the mechanism has been uh, changed and I'll, I want to show you what the differences are. So first I'll show you the inside of this uh, Monroe Model L and uh, to, the, to do that I'll have to remove the carriage. I've already removed a screw from uh, this end of the, uh, of the rod so if I push the rod out the um, axle that the carriage uh, is connected to so now the carriage is completely loose. There we go. And here you can see the inside of the machine. The Monroe has a stepped drum mechanism here, but that's not used in the new Mario. At the back you have this large drum that's used for carries. You can see that there are these small pins here that can slide to the left. When one of the digits overflows, a uh, small uh, switch is tripped here next to the, uh, the intermediate gear. There's a, there's a switch that can be pushed down. And that, that happens when a digit overflows. A, a tooth on the uh, number wheel pushes down this switch. So when, uh, so, so when the, uh, uh, the drum is turned, suddenly the next uh, wheel will increment and that's done because this switch pushes to the left this uh, this pin and this the other end of that pin engages with the next wheel up. 
So that's a fairly straightforward carry mechanism. It has, uh, you'll see it has two, two parts, one that sort of uh, uh, flows that way and one that flows the other way. It sort of spirals one way and then the next, then the other way. One set is for addition and the other set is for subtraction. Because the carries always have to do, be done from right to left. So if you turn it clockwise, uh, this set here is the right one because it sort of moves from right to left. But if you turn it the other way, then this set has to be used. Now let's have a look at the Numeria. Again, I'll, uh, yeah, I have removed uh, the screw from, from this end of the uh, connecting rod, so I'll push that out. And again, the carriage can be removed fairly easily. One small difference is that the uh, hooks at the front of the carriage on the Monroe are on the outside, whereas the uh, hooks on the Numeria are on the inside. Um, here you see a very similar arrangement. You have these intermediate gears, and each has a switch next to it that uh, is for the carry, and you have this drum at the back with, for the carry mechanism, but there are no stepped drums here for the uh, transfer of the input to the intermediate gears. That's just missing. And instead they've co-opted this carry drum to do that same job. Um, if you turn the uh, the drum you, you suddenly see here you have all these pins. There's a set of nine pins in each uh, on each wheel and uh, those are those function very similar to the carry pins, except now they transfer the input number uh, to the wheels. There are uh, nine pins in a row, four that are pushed from the, from the right hand side uh, towards the middle, and five that follow it are pushed from the left into the middle. The the gear is right in between to, between the two, so some pins are moved to the right into the path of this gear and some some pins are moved to the left in, into the path of this gear. And yeah, when you press uh, a button on the keyboard uh, you can see here there's a there's a uh, sort of a, a cam that uh, has moved up towards me. So if I press the four, it moves up, and when you turn turn the crank, at this point you see you see that it pushes in these pins so that this wheel turns. In this case, it pushes in the four pins from the right and yeah that means that the wheel turns four steps. If I push a, a two that cam is still there but not as high so now it's on a track that uh, only pushes in two of the four pins from this side. It's a bit difficult to see because it's all very small, but I hope you get the idea. The pins on the right are either not pushed at all, or two are activated, or all four. On the left you have five pins, and it's either none, one, four, or all five. And any combination of those two can make the numbers one to nine, or zero to nine, I mean. So that's the, uh, that's the unusual mechanism of the Numeria and how it differs from the Monroe. So, so, so they've used the carry mechanism of the Monroe and expanded that to take over the whole transfer mechanism.
So that was the uh, the mechanism of these machines. Uh, now a bit more detail on the machines themselves. Uh, the one here is the Numeria 7101. That's a, a Series 7. The first one that means uh, it has a, a small size of uh, counter, six digits, and the uh, appropriate size of register to go with that is twice the size plus two, so that's uh, 14 digits. Uh, so 7101, that's O, that's zero, that means it's um, a manual thing, manual dri manually driven machine. Electric machines have a, a one there, or a two if they also have uh, multiplication buttons, uh, an extra column of uh, multiplication buttons. Uh, the last digit, the, the one, 7101, is uh, basically because it's a standard model. Some uh, other versions have uh, counters with, uh, with a carry mechanism or a register that can be split into two separate uh, independent parts. And those have different numbers as the final digit. This one is a 9200. The 9 is a series 9. And uh, yeah, the 2 means it has a, a slightly larger counter, namely 8 digits and the appropriate register of twice that plus two, so that's uh, 18 digits. And uh, the two zeros mean it's a manual and a standard version. Let me just uh, put this back together. There we go. And uh, yeah, so that's the uh, Numeria from Italy. Thank you for watching.